They don't want us to be great, y'all. Sometimes I get nervous about sitting on grass because critters. But it's so pretty out here. Hey guys, I missed y'all. For real though. Um, I'm kind of scared to make this video, I can't lie, because I feel like I feel like I'm ready to bust with emotion. Um, so it's going to be a real, it is going to be a real, damn, what's the word? This is about to be a real raw and uncut video. So you might see tears, but if you see tears, act like you don't see them because I like to keep it pee. I'm a gangster, for real. <laughs> Stop crying, it won't do any good. And anyway, you have a lot of work to do, starting right now. But, um, about to go find a nature spot because I need to, I need to be somewhere soothing. Yeah, look at the flowers. So nice and peaceful. Welcome to my old college that I went to. I just graduated in December, so I don't know why I'm talking like it's been years and years. Enjoying this nice, peaceful walk. There's not a lot of people on campus today. Because it is Monday. Um, sometimes I get nervous about sitting on grass because Critters. But it's so pretty out here. Uh-uh. Uh-uh. See, it's too many. It's bees wanting to be with me and everything. Okay, I think we got a better spot. Um, first of all, I just want to say if you're someone that just graduated college, first off, congrats, congrats. That is not an easy task at all. So don't let people downplay you on that. Um, but if you're watching this video because you're like, oh, I want to get a feel for how is life after graduation? How is it getting a job? How is life? Da -da -da -da. Let me just say, first off, after I graduated college, which I graduated in December, major in theater, minor in multimedia and film, woohoo. Um, and since I have graduated, granted, I don't miss college. Let, let me just say that I'm glad I don't have professors emailing me asking me for essays due dates to do this and that um, I'm glad I'm done with school okay I feel great I feel like a weight is lifted off my shoulder and I was also president of a club and I was doing a lot of stuff in theater you got little to no rest with my major so being able to let some of that go I feel quite wonderful I feel pretty, pretty, pretty good. Um, so yeah. I would say post-grad depression for people that do talk about post-grad depression. I wouldn't say it comes from college. Being out of college didn't really make me sad or anything. I would say it's how the world treats you after you graduate. That is that's what's really doing something to me. So let's bring it down. I'm trying not to ramble here. So I got my little phone. Hold on. Got my little phone, my notepad, so I can know what to talk about and hopefully not talk too much on this video. Cool, cool. And it's hot out here. So let's talk about me getting close to my graduation. So I graduated in December, I was excited. I was happy. Graduation day, I was overwhelmed because there's a lot of people. I'm not, I socialize with a lot of people, but when everyone is trying to crowd you and ask you questions and people want to take pictures with you, hey, oh, KB, let's take a picture. Da, 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 da. Um, where's your apartment at? Like, it was so many, so much happening that I was just like, Ugh. Um, but it was cool, it was fun. 
So had my graduation and then started my first full-time job, which I was working at a novelty store, a little adult entertainment store. I thought it would be fun. Um, I got a crazy list of jobs that I would want to do because I think they're fun. But anyway, I was working at my first full-time job after graduation because of course you got to pay bills, you got to pay rent and all that other stuff. And really working at Sunset was my first, I want to say it wasn't a nine to five, it was longer than a nine to five. But it, it showed me quickly the work-life balance. Really, you know, we all trying to make money out here. You got to have, you got to make money because how can you pay bills? How can you go out? I mean, like everything is costing money. And now they're talking about this um, self-checkout at Walmart costing money. Like it seems every little thing has a cost to it. I don't like that shit. But anyway, um, I'm working there. And I was working there under, I want to say poor management. My manager was awesome she was amazing but higher up above her we had some um some not so nice people and dealt with a lot of misogyny had to deal with kissing ass basically to make money because it's like I, I need this job you know I need this job because I got bills to pay and my friends will be trying to go out like some weekends and it was a whole lot of like no y'all I can't make it I got work. It, it was a whole lot of no's. Like, I, I think I got some screenshots. It was crazy. Um, and all the time they'd be like, dang, you know that job is working you to death. And I was like, I, I know. I literally was working almost every day. I would only get like one day off a week. Um, sometimes two, but for the most part, I was only getting one day off. And I wasn't even working like technically full time for real but that's a whole nother story that job scammed me but anyway I was putting in a lot of time only to be let go last month so they told me basically I was fired March 14th and I was just like okay what do I do now and don't get me wrong my plan after I graduated was never to stay in Statesboro where I am now my plan was never to stay here because I know there's not a lot of opportunities for me so I did start looking into some theater internships fellowships you know full-time jobs if they offered it I was looking into that but most of them didn't start until June to August or they don't start until May so I still had a little bit of time and again I gotta pay bills so I needed a job during this time so anyway they let me go last month and I was just like, like, I honestly, and still don't know how to like cope with that. <sighs> anyway, I'm trying not to cry, y'all. But yeah, that was tough. And still is tough, because I'm, I'm gonna get into that. Because I was like, God, Come on now, like you you know we had a plan here. The plan is kind of falling short right now, what's happening. But honestly, I had been saying that I wanted to leave that job because it, it was not good for my mental health. Every day I was going in stressing or I was leaving unhappy. And I was like, I, I can't do this. Like I gotta leave soon. And I guess God, God pressed fast forward on that process because he didn't even give me the option to keep working there he was just like I'm gonna push you out so I left there and then I was trying to file for unemployment and not them passing by anyway so yeah after I lost that job I've been filing for unemployment and food stamps and the government when it comes to like assistance is so ass too because after, as I was filing for unemployment I'm filling out all my information and then they get back to me and they're like oh you're not you didn't earn enough wages to qualify for unemployment what bro what are you talking about man I snaps application too and I haven't heard back 
from them. They normally don't get back to you until like months later. So I'm like, how can y'all really say that y'all giving assistance and y'all wanna help the homeless and all of that? And it's hard to get any help, for real. You gotta bend over backwards to get any help, I see. So, don't have unemployment. I'm not getting money from that don't have food stamps so any little money I get I'm having to pay for like groceries and bills still with no job so let, let that sink in let that sink in so then a girl was filing for jobs because I was like okay you still got to be in Statesboro for a couple of months I got until June um, and we we need to make money so I started applying for jobs here and then cities close to me i barely have heard back from them for real so yeah i see the job market it's pretty ass i see now what everyone is talking about with like it's hard to get a job um and even after me graduating even after me getting a degree most of the jobs that I'm actually interested with like boss office stuff and in front of house management and direct work. Most of those jobs now, okay, they want you to have a degree, but do you have four to five years of experience? Have you used this software? And the software is, it's kind of like very private. Only the companies have this software and there is no guide on it. There is no training classes on this software. But it's like, yeah, you got to have experience with this software and then we need you to have experience doing this, this and that. Well, how could I have that experience when I've been in college? You know what I'm saying? So I feel like with my post-grad depression, it's not coming from me being out of college. It's coming from feeling like I didn't do enough, like even though I did four years of college, even though I have a degree, a bachelor's degree at that. Even with all of that, the world is still saying you're not doing enough. America is still saying you're not doing enough. So that's very frustrating for me because I felt like all throughout life. Y'all. Yeah. Hold on, we gotta cut the cameras because tears can't be coming. But I felt like all throughout life, I had been hit with, okay, you accomplished this, congratulations. You're still not, you're still not doing everything that we wanted. You missed some things. I felt like through every accomplishment, it was always still something that I was lacking. And that's hard. That's pretty tough. Anyway, gain composure. Um, so dealing with that emotionally and mentally, and I think I'm doing pretty good because today I felt, I felt all these emotions and I had all these thoughts and I was like, okay, I need to record a video just to get it all out there, because why not? And people are probably going through this too. But let's get into, let's get into the friends part of this. So, I have some friends that graduated college with me, and then I have some friends that are still in college. And I told one of my friends this recently. They trying to get somebody. Um, but I was telling my friend that for the people that I did hang with in college, most of them still being young or having a couple years left of college, I hung around them like almost every day from sun up to sundown because we were in theater together and if you're a theater kid you know you work together in a lot of projects like y'all feel like a little family so now since i've graduated i have felt distant from them because i mean they're still in classes they still got work to do um they can't hang out like that and spring semester is always the toughest semester in my opinion, than fall semester. So going through life with that. And yeah, so anytime I've been like, you know, y'all wanna hang out or, or y'all down to do anything, they're occupied with stuff or they had uh, their show rehearsals too and they were 
in rehearsals. So for the most part, I've been hanging alone. I mean, I hang with my friends outside of college too. We're, we're cool, we're doing fantastic. Um, but I miss my friends that are still in college. So adjusting to that has been tough as well. On to, on to the next topic. So now with all of this being done, me being unemployed, me graduating college, getting ready. I do have a theater internship coming up in June. Um, so I'll be leaving for Massachusetts then, and that's exciting. I get to be in a new position and learn new things. But while I'm still here for these last two months, it has been rough. This unemployment life is not for the week, I tell you that. Because I've been having to get up and do Instacart and Uber Eats and all that. Just to like have groceries for the day. Or just to be able to pay my gas. Like, ugh. But even though I'm going through it emotionally today, I can't say this did put me in a reflective mindset because I'm like, God, you know, you're really a real one. Because I was also saying, along with like me being in theater and doing big things with that, I wanted to do more of my content creating and do a YouTube video and start getting big on TikTok and all this stuff. But my excuse was, you know, yeah, I can't upload a video because my job, you know, I can't upload a video because I got theater rehearsals and all that stuff. You know, I can't get serious about what I want to do personally because I got all this other stuff to contribute to. Um, and God took that all away and I got all of this free time and it's like, so now what? You don't have any excuses. So what are you going to do? You got the free time now. So are you actually going to do stuff or was that all just you saying something that's that's what I feel and I'm kind of glad about it because this is pretty low for me this isn't my lowest but I'm feeling pretty low but I don't know why this time this isn't bringing me down into like a deep depression this is making me want to go even harder like I'm looking into doing shirts and getting serious with my YouTube and with my other social media, with my theater stuff, building my portfolio. Like I'm getting serious about a lot of things that I wasn't really putting any effort towards in the past. So I'm about to walk back to my car because I only have 12 minutes left on this memory card. So I'm gonna try to sum up some things. But if you want some tips for people that are about to graduate or are just trying to figure out how to navigate in this world. If you want any tips, I would say really and truly after you graduate or wherever you are in life, just take it one day at a time. I feel like that's my problem because I overthink everything. And I can tell you now, even though I say take it one day at a time, I'm a person that's thinking, I'm thinking for June, July, August. I'm trying to make plans for then. So, yeah, I need to take my own note because I'll be quick to say, um, oh, I'm thinking about August and September. I forgot to live in the present, you know. So I would say take it one day at a time. Don't stress. Also, um, make sure you start applying to jobs months before you graduate. I would say if you're graduating in May, you should start applying for jobs now in whatever field you want to do. Start doing interviews so you can possibly have a job after you graduate. Um, it may work out for you. Not everybody gets a job after graduation and that's okay. I am one of those people because my major is in theater. Um, some people got it easier than others, depending on what you're doing, you know. I will also say it is important to save money. I'm learning that now my dad is quick. Um, to tell me about saving money but no seriously you need to save money because you never know what's going to happen in my case I didn't expect to be let go from my job when I did but I'm glad I did have a little bit of money saved up so I wasn't really stressing that much oh look at this cat he 
you're so cute. But yeah, so save up money for your next apartment or just for rainy days, for emergencies. Do not spend it all on alcohol, money, illegal stuff. If you do illegal stuff, um, put some of that money to the side. Cool, cool, y'all got me. All right. Another tip is it's also okay to ask for help. I say that's my biggest downfall. Dang, I'm, I'm, I'm trying not to cry. I've been doing pretty good so far. But um, it's okay to ask for help if you need help. I'm a person, I will try to find any and everything to fix the problem myself. I hate asking for help. That comes from my background. I've just had the mindset to get it and do it on my own. Um, so yeah, but trying to do everything by yourself does not make life easier for you as you would think. It doesn't. Some people have no choice but to do it by themselves and for that I say you the real MVP. But if you do have people that are trying to help you, take that. Cool, cool. I, I think that's it. I just really wanted to touch on that. But yeah guys, on a positive note, it's all going to be fine. It's all going to work out. I got a job in June, as I was telling y'all. Um, and all my bills are paid right now. So God is good. Amen, amen. And I'm going to come out with more YouTube videos for y'all. So thank you for staying and watching my TED Talk, my rant on how adulting is going for me. And hopefully you stay tuned for more. <laughs>